The sample data in Jamovi is wonderful. It's a, it's a great way to learn the program, see how things go. On the other hand, you probably came here to analyze your own data. And so theoretically, the simplest way to do this is to enter the data directly into Jamovi because you can do that. We've got something that looks like a spreadsheet over here. And when you first open it, it's got these three blank variables called A, B and C. And you can put your own stuff in there. So for instance, you can put an ID number. And in fact, it's a good idea to change the names of these so you know what they are. So I'm just going to change this one to ID. And then I'll change the next one to first name. And then I'll change the third one to age. And so we've got three possible variables there. I'll close this window. You want to use ID number because you need to be able to find a particular case and you need to be able to return things to the order in which they were. So I'm going to put number one right there. And let's say first name, let's put Alex. And let's give an age of 34. Okay. We'll do the second one and we'll do Ava and we'll say that she is 41. And then we'll do a third one and we'll say it's Fikri. And we'll say that he's 18. Anyhow, you can do it this way. It's really tedious. It's a laborious process. And I really don't recommend entering the data directly into Jamovi the same way I never would recommend entering the data directly into SPSS or to R or to SAS or anything else like that. This is possible, but it's not a good way. Instead, a much better way is to enter your data in a spreadsheet. Google Sheets is good because it's online and several people can be working on the same sheet at once. And then you can import that file, which is what I'm going to show you in the next video, the much better way to get your data into Jamovi.